President Donald Trump met with four World War II veterans at the White House on Thursday, introducing them to the press at the Oval Office. That was a great victory, we knew how to win wars, that was a tremendous victory, Trump said after visiting with the four men. Sidney Walton, a former medic in World War II, was traveling the country to raise awareness of the disappearing veterans as a member of the No Regrets Tour across America. Walton asked Trump to let him join the president on stage in an upcoming rally the next time he was in Pittsburgh. That's why he's successful, he's very aggressive, Trump quipped to the press and agreed to arrange it. I want to be like you one day, Trump said, noting the veteran's advanced age and praising their great genes. Veteran Paul Kreiner was 103 years old. He doesn't look a day over 90, Trump joked. Kreiner recalled that his team was in 517 days of combat during the war. We are proud of him, we're proud of all of you, Trump said. Floyd Wigfield said, that he was on Utah Beach in the war in June 1944 as part of the third wave of soldiers. That was a pretty brutal area at the time, wasn't it? Trump said. Wigfield said he was on the battlefield for 19 days before he was wounded. Later, he was redeployed back to Germany. Trump said he would attend the 75th anniversary recognition of D Day this summer in France. One of the organizers told Trump that Wigfield wanted to fly back from the event in France with the president. We'll work that out. You'll like Air Force One, he said with a grin. Walton has been touring the nation to raise awareness that World War II veterans. I joined the army to fight Hitler, veteran Alan Jones said, saying that it was a great day in his life to meet the president. That was a good reason, Trump replied. Oh, any of the organizers gave the president a hat and asked him to share a photo on Twitter. I don't tweet too much, he joked.